Let's see what we've got going on. I shall be upstairs if you need me. Good luck. Look at all this data. Finally, something we can read. Let's see what he knew. All right. Invoices, schematics, design notes. The fools think they're safe. They're stupider than I thought. If they think I'd ever forget what they did, if I think, if they think I'd ever forgive, I'm closing in on them now. I know who their supplier is. And that means I know where they've moved their twisted operation. They're in Gotham, hiding in plain sight. Well, not for long. Riddler must have been talking about the location of the black side. His obsession with data left us an incredibly thorough paper trail. Look at these manifests. Bodhi Spa. Strange place for a delivery of virus incubators. This must be what Riddler means by hiding in plain sight. Let's take a look at this over here. Patient 843. 10 milligram injection at 0.01% solution. Patient 844. 10 milligram injection at 0.015% solution. God, what is that? Human test subjects? We have to find what they were giving those test subjects. What was that? <laughs> oh! viral agent from the looks of things. A biological weapon. This is what Harley wants. Agency. The agency. Don't you work with them? Amanda Waller. She runs the agency. Sounds like you owe her a phone call. Can we trust her though? Bruce. To what do I owe the pleasure of this call? The agency was working on a virus with human test subjects. Bruce, what on earth? I just saw it with my own eyes. How do you... Is that what Quinn's after? Yes. I found the black site. Hiding in the middle of Gotham at the Bodhi Spa. Okay. Okay. I promise we'll get to the bottom of this. But I need you to trust me. Meet me at Wayne Tower in 15. I'll tell you what I know. Harley was asking if the goggles are ready. I'll go back to the subway, see if I can keep her busy. Thanks, Selena. Benefits of partners. Be safe, Bats. You too. I love this, man. This is cool. Let's do it, baby. I got my girl, and I'm gonna ride out my... Lambo, Batmobile looking thing. She looking fine as foot. Let's go, boys. Life is looking up. We've got to step up on the enemies. We've got all the intel. Tiffany, what are you doing here? Running late today? I expected you I was wondering when earlier. she was going to be back. I needed to talk to you, but I'm sorry, Bruce. This is for your own protection. Hands behind your back! On the floor, now! On the floor! Bruce Wayne, you're under arrest for armed robbery, murder, and criminal conspiracy to commit a terrorist act. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Don't hurt him! Uh, thanks for the call, Miss Fox. You've done a good thing today. You lied to me! You need to stand back, or we're gonna have a problem. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect them to be so... violent. I just wanted them to get you away from those nut jobs. It'll be all right, Tiffany. I believe you. What in the... Director Waller?! Uncuff Mr. Wayne right now, or you'll spend the rest of your life as a meter maid. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! Get out of here! 
Mr. Wayne is under agency protection, and you know it. What? You've known it for some time. Waller and the agency? They're not always gonna be around to save you, Wayne. One day, you're gonna run out of favors to call in. And when you do, there'll be hell to pay. If only you knew, homie. I'm not a criminal, Gordon. Oh, say Officers, that. please. I... He's involved! He belongs in a cell! This is neither your concern or your purview. Go home, Gordon. You're done here. The hell I will! If I were you, I'd be very careful with my next words. And if I were you, I'd stop interfering with GCPD business. This is my city! Not anymore. You're so far out of line, you can't see the truth. You're dismissed. Excuse me? You tested me. This is what happens. Damn it, Waller! You can't do this! It's well within my power and you know it. Waller, Gordon is a good cop. He's a good man. Don't do this. Not from you. It's the last straw. I won't allow anyone to question my authority. This is strictly professional. Oh, sure. Time to go, Jim. I feel bad because he just doesn't know the whole truth. All you have to do is be honest with him and he would understand what was going well, on. Make he wouldn't sure be so Gordon freaking crazy. Leaves and be right outside. When you're ready. I apologize for everything. Well, you wanted a chance to talk to me, so here it is. Talk. I just don't understand how you got tied up in all this. The agency? If I had known you were... What are you doing with them? Please, just tell me, Bruce. Look, Tiffany, I'm an undercover operative. What I'm doing, it's dangerous. Thank you for telling me. I trust her wholeheartedly. I see now, though. This is why he's dead. He was involved in whatever you're doing. This work you're doing seems incredibly dangerous. But there's something I don't get. Why you? I mean, no offense, but you're just... Bruce. I'm gonna tell her. I'm Batman. <laughs> you're that face. Batman. The Batman. Come on. I got something to show you. Hey, Bruce. Wanted to show you a preview of your new bat suit. I know you and Alfred are still on your well-deserved retreat, but I couldn't help myself. Dad. I'll upload the specs to your private server. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. I'll see you soon. It was hard to believe, but hearing it from him. Your dad was a hero. Your dad believed the city deserved better. He believed in me. And to think I gave him lip for missing dinner sometimes. <laughs> With dad gone, maybe I can still help if Batman is interested. It's the least I can do. The way things are going right now, he could use a little help. Okay, I need to digest. Sorry for everything earlier, but thank you for trusting me with this. I'm only saying we might be pushing him too hard. He's capable, and he knows how to cover his tracks. Our only path forward is through Wayne. <clears throat> oh, let's get Awkward. to it, then. I know you have some questions. A few. Care to explain why the videos I saw said this virus was an agency experiment? Years ago, I was brought in to rectify the agency's past mistakes. Or, failing that, to cover them up. One mess in particular dealt with Black Ops experiments. Human subjects. 
The kind of amoral science that makes your skin crawl. Sanctus. They were a division that was shut down for good, long before either of us joined. But evidently, they went underground. This is our worst case scenario. With Sanctus off the leash, this research poses a global threat. If I'd known where they set up their den, I would have taken them out years ago. If you want them taken out, now's your chance. We know right where they are. It's not that simple. Sanctus was dangerous then. They're certainly worse now. This whole situation, it's given me an idea. I can't put an agent within a thousand yards of that place without them starting a war or blowing up the entire block just to cover their tracks. We know it's tricky, but leading Harley and her gang into Sanctus might allow the two problems to take care of themselves. They have Riddler's info. They have a way in. And you're undercover with them. At least with Sanctus and the Pact at each other's throats, the Agency can act quickly, clean up, and minimize casualties. It's unorthodox. But a strike like this will keep damage from spilling onto Gotham streets. So we're gonna start Makes a war sense. between the two of them, basically. Why endanger anyone else when I have my own personal wrecking crew? My thoughts, exactly. Look, for now, just go and check this place out. Right now, as yourself. We don't want them to know Batman is on their tail. I bet you're the type of guy who has some expensive surveillance equipment. We have your back, Bruce. We'll be right behind you. Keep me in the loop so I know what my team and I might be facing when it goes down. Defenses, security, whatever. Their lives are in your hands, Bruce. As well as the fate of this city. I know you might have reservations about working with Harley and her crew like this. Sometimes you have to use bad people to do good things. Things are heating up, man. The Bodhi Spa, 11.30 a.m. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the Bodhi Spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. So let's go get a massage! They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. We need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. Those are sick, dude. I want my contacts to be able to do that. That access like door is connected to the spa. There are heat pipes. And there are also... Electricity security pipes. security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. Okay. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. Can't see the gun on the other temperature. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. 
Maybe guards. That appears to just be a patron. Another patron. Nope, the that's not a patron. Stairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. <laughs> That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Well, right, Is that pain? Now, why would a billionaire be skulking around in oh. filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. I'm looking for something. Aren't we all? Uh, for Harley. She sent me. Funny. She didn't mention that. My pain. Have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard the GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best, to be honest. Lies insult us both. I mean, this let him it. go in there and... The black site Riddler wanted to hit. He's expendable, whatever. So this is what Harley was trying to keep secret. She didn't know. Strange that you're here after a run-in with GCPD, in an alleyway, with the other rats. Finding you in this duplicitous position, while we have a mole problem. But it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. <laughs> Rice and shine. Oh no, dude. <sighs> Early! Pop the horses! Oh, I pity what you're about to face, Wayne. You did the right thing, telling me about the black site. But there's still something about you that gives me pause. Something that casts a shadow over your heart. Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. I'm not scared. <laughs> Gotta be tough! <laughs> False bravery will not save you, Wayne. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. And if he had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane! Tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. Okay, that went better than expected. I'll take it. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Maybe not so great. Why 
Why does she have Thanks mannequins? For backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats, and I will. Your father, he was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him, betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy, take no apologies, that sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? Oh, come on. I'm more than just that. We all have more to us, Bruce. You're not telling me anything I didn't already know. Did you forget I used to be a doctor? Went to doctor in school and everything. <laughs> doctor in school. My dad. You got some of the same shades as him. And they all fell down to the so deep creepy. to drown to the dark. To drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. That's... Kind of a disturbing song. Well, my dad was kind of a disturbing fella. Now, he's just a glimmer in a maggot's belly. Ugh. Same as we'll all be someday. In fact... You being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh-faced and optimistic. Are you threatening her? Oh, take it down a notch, Wayne. Your friend is safe. It's your job to keep her that way. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka, we have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place, except maybe one or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Shit! Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. I guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second-guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Oh, shit! Harley, uh, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Admit it, you rat scum! You're the... the rat! <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. He's gonna hook us up. Do it again. Hit me again. Take this. You're hitting him already. Oh, <sighs> I never wanted it to come to this. But we both know what has to be done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. 
Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. There is no scenario where we are letting that happen. I knew that'd be your knee-jerk reaction, but this is the only way out. The only way that keeps you alive. Did you even stick up for me? I tried, Bruce. I really did. I said it loud and clear. I internally. <laughs> you know Harley. She's not a mind reader. Thanks so Sorry, much, John. Not as strong as you. Well, I'll get through this, Bruce, but I don't see a lot of options that end too great for you. It's either you or her. What do you want to do, Bruce? She knows it was one of you two. She knows. I gotta guess it was Catwoman. I went to the safe, but it was already gone. And you were right there talking to Harley, so... I know you care about her, but... Yeah. All right, time's up. Perfect, because I'm done. You got a confession? Great job, Puddin. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. Just like we talked about. It was me, Harley. I took it. You were just starting to get under my skin. Too bad. I guess I do have to hurt Tiffany after all. And you, of course. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like, send this one to the great icebox in the sky. There is no good option there. There's literally nothing I can do. Well, Bruce, it's been fun. Bane, get him inside. <clears throat> you can let the cats out of the bag. Bruce! Bruce is in deep trouble. Harley, be reasonable! <laughs> Why would I start now? I got you what you wanted. I found the black side. This ain't about what it was or what you did with it. It's about trust. And I ain't got none for you no more. Wait! Harley, as great as this is as a punishment, not Bruce. You can't. He's... He's, he's my best friend. Aw, Puddin. That's sweet. So... Maybe we can let him go? Live, at least? Nah. Be sure to send Tiffany a postcard from Antarctica. Are we being cryogenically frozen? I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. Dude, no way, and that's gonna be the end? That's where it's gonna leave off? Oh my goodness, dude. That was absolutely insane. That honestly, I think is my favorite episode yet. Things were going really, 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 really well, and then all of a sudden we fell off a cliff at the end, and uh, we're gonna have to wait a month or so before we're gonna be able to find out what happens next. Holy cow, dude. That was absolutely insane. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments. I'm gonna see you guys when episode four comes out here in the next month or two, and uh, peace out.